Hi, Quadcopter101 here. Uh, what I got for you today is the DM007 again. Um, what I wanted to talk about is these motors on this quadcopter. They're, they're quite unique. I've never seen seen them in toy grade before. Um, if you notice, you can't spin these props. In fact, as you turn them, there's some resistance and, and give, um, which tells me these motors are very, very different than what we've seen before on the toy grade quadcopters. Uh, one of my viewers had asked me to pop the top on one of these, and I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to... Um, unscrew the fastener for the prop guard and see if I can lift it up enough that we can see the diameter of the motor and bring it up close. Uh, I am not going to remove the prop itself because uh, each time you remove a prop and insert a prop it just weakens the uh, bind of the prop to the prop shaft so I'm not going to do that but I'll lift it up enough so that we can get a view of the diameter of this motor. Again it's very different than what I've seen before. I've never uh, encountered a quadcopter with uh, I guess these are much different motors than we normally see. Um, I guess uh, as these get out into the uh, public and more people get a hold of these, uh, we'll have a little more information on what type of motors these are. But these aren't your usual little cordless motors that you see on uh, the micros and the minis. Something very different. Okay, so I'm going to pop the top and let's take a look. All I'm doing is removing the screw from the prop guard so that we can pop it open. I haven't tried to pop it open yet but this will be our first try. I think that's probably enough. No, it's actually coming out. It's a very long screw, obviously. <laughs> Let's see if I can lift that up now. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, and I wish I had calipers, but uh, as you can see, this is a much larger diameter motor than we normally see in a mini or a micro class quadcopter. Um, very unusual. <laughs> I'm not going to pull it up anymore because uh, I'm not sure of the assembly or disassembly procedures yet on this quadcopter, but this is just to satisfy people's uh, curiosity on this motor. Um, again, it's very large diameter motor, especially for this size of a quadcopter. Okay, well, I'm going to put it back together. <laughs> Let's see. There, it came up a little bit more. Actually, is that... The whole thing's coming out. <clears throat> well, that's about as much as I'm going to lift it. Seems to, to slide out. Um, I don't have no... Uh, reason to disassemble it right now. Maybe one of you other guys out there that like to disassemble these will do such <laughs> in the future. I know Sebidocky likes to do that. I'm not going to do it though. <laughs> not unless it's broken. <laughs> but again, that's what the diameter of this uh, motor looks like. And um, I hope that uh, answered some people's curiosity on this quadcopter. Okay, reassembling it. Uh, this is Quadcopter 101 signing out.